Hello, and welcome to Subscribe, the official podcast of The Scribe, the UCCS student newspaper. My name is Taylor Burnfield, and in this episode of Colorado Springs History, I am going to share with you a fascinating account of one of this city's most popular music venues, the Cotton Club. The year is 1948, and the popularity of jazz is at an all-time high. World War II has been over for three years, and America is still celebrating. Colorado Springs was a part of that celebration, and during the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, Colorado Springs was home to one of the most successful jazz clubs in the western United States. It was known as the Cotton Club, located at 25 West Colorado Avenue, and was a destination for performers like Billie Holiday, Etta James, and Louis Armstrong. The club provided a haven for black artists during a time when other venues in the area, such as the Broadmoor and the Antlers Hotel, did not allow black musicians to perform. At the time, Colorado Springs implemented de facto racial segregation, which refers to segregation that is not legislated but still enforced. The Cotton Club became the first racially integrated business in Colorado Springs. Fannie Mae Duncan opened the club in 1948 with a vision to bring together people of all ethnicities. Duncan hung a sign in the window that read, Everybody Welcome. The club was packed every night and featured opulent decor. Duncan herself was a known eccentric and often wore expensive jewelry, fur coats, and large hats. The Colorado Springs police pressured Duncan to shut down the club. However, Duncan refused to comply. The club was so popular among the community that the city allowed the club to stay open. By the 1970s, interest in jazz music declined and the club lost its popularity and prestige. Since other venues in the area were no longer practicing segregation, the Cotton Club lost its uniqueness. The club officially closed its doors in 1975. Duncan was devastated by the loss of her club. She eventually moved to Denver and dedicated the rest of her life to charity work. She passed away in 2005 at the age of 87. Posthumously, she was inducted into the Colorado Women's Hall of Fame. In 2019, a statue of Duncan was erected in front of the Pikes Peak Center for the Performing Arts. In February 2021, it was announced that the Cotton Club would be brought back to downtown Colorado Springs. The new club is housed inside the Gold Room, a music venue located at 18 South Nevada Avenue. The new club, inspired by Duncan's love of jazz, opened in June 2021. To learn more about Fannie Mae Duncan and the Cotton Club, read the article titled, Local Women's History, Fannie Mae Duncan and the Cotton Club at scribe.uccs.edu. And don't forget to follow the Scribe on Instagram, Twitter, and now TikTok at uccsscribe. Thank you for listening.